Sorry, I missed you, Glennis. I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> I'll go next. All right. Um, hard one, hard one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What would life be without music? Oh. I think it's very hard one, I guess. That's very hard one. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's a good question. Though. I think that's easy, but okay. Oh, well, yeah. Some are easy. You know, it's easy for some people, hard for others. You know, what would life be without music? Okay. Mr. Table Topics Master, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. But life without music would certainly be less happy because when you're happy, you want to sing a song. And if there was no such thing as singing, uh, you wouldn't have a way to express your happiness. And you won't have a way to share your happiness so well. You can share your happiness by talking, but you can share it in singing in, a, no, in an easier way, in a kind of a, an easier way to to share it with people you don't know as well, too. If there was no music, uh, it would be kind of similar to saying what would happen if the world was black and white, which is another interesting question. But, you know, I think it would be worse without music than it, without color. But, I, I, you know, I don't know. You know, you'd see the beautiful scenery and, and all. But uh, life, life without music, I mean, mus music, lifts our mood, you know, it can, it can music can identify with your mood. If you're sad, music can, can make you comfortable and it help you express that sadness. If you're grieving, it can help you express it. So what would life be without music? It would just be, it would be short. It would be like a meal that was just nutritious, but didn't taste good. Mr. Table Topics Master. That was a great question. That was a great answer, actually. <laughs> I think you just did a very good job. Just to Thank confirm, you. you can see the time, right? Oh, yeah, I saw it great. Yes. Yeah, I, I can okay. see that great. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, those are some great answers to the questions. Uh, would anybody want to volunteer and go next? Uh, Edgar, I'll go next. Okay. Thank you. Um, easy, easy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think of the music that your parents listen to? <laughs> Dear Table Topics Master and fellow Toastmasters, I was asked a question, what do I think of the music that my parents listen to? That question would differ, obviously, depending on many factors. One is how old my parents are, where they're from, what's their preferred language. So just to give a little bit of a background information, my parents are old. My father is 82 wow. and my mom is in her 70s. And my family comes from the Middle East. So their preferred language is Arabic. And one thing I can tell you about old music, old Arabic music, it was very classical. Uh, there was not a lot of, I would say, um, vulgar or provocative images or um, concepts it was more like innocent music. And there was a lot more focus on the, on, the, on the voice and on the, uh, the vocal variety rather than on the performance. So I feel that that music resembles more what singing should be about because that is truly a, a portrayal of people's voices and true talents. 
So I have high admiration for that old classical music. And um, perhaps perhaps we should reevaluate how how music has shifted over over the decades. Thank you, Table Topics Master. Back to you. And thank you. That was a very great answer. I'm curious to um, listen to some old Arabic music now. All right. So would anybody want a question about music? I'll make it easy. Or <laughs> I'll go next. All right, then. Thank you for volunteering. So this question, um, it's about music and TV. So my question to you is, which is more important to you, music or television? Well, thank you for that question, Edgar. So the question is whether or not, well, what is more important to me, television or music? And right now in my life, I would say that music is more important than television. I think perhaps in my past, maybe when I was younger and into different television shows, I probably had a strong interest in watching TV. You know, I would watch a lot of sports, especially growing up and in college, you know, from the uh, Boston area. So the Patriots and the Red Sox, that was such a big deal um, a decade ago or so. And for several years, they were quite the dominant team. So I'd watch those a lot on television and I thought those were, that was great. But now it seems to be just all these streaming services. So I have Netflix and Amazon and I think Hulu, I want to say. You know, there's so much content on there. It's not, it's kind of overwhelming. And I, I look at a lot of different shows and they're all just kind of mediocre. Uh, sometimes there's good ones, but you know, that's kind of hit or miss. So I'm not too, too interested. And I did actually um, pick up piano, kind of following up on what Glenna said, um, talked about a little bit earlier. I started earlier this year and I do find it to be a good, uh, I don't know if stress reliever, but the, the, it's a nice activity to do in the evening. So I spend, yeah, about 20 or 30 minutes every night um, trying to, to learn that. And it is, it is difficult, but I think it's rewarding as well. I used to play guitar when I was younger. So I have um, some of that um, memory of some of the chords and notes and how to read music. And I think that that was very helpful. And, you know, just listening to a lot of tones and listening to music now, I can kind of pick up on things a little bit differently. And it's uh, a very positive thing, I feel. So I feel that, you know, music, I, I prefer that over, over television, at least at this point. Back to you, uh, Mr. Table Topics Master, Edgar. Thank you, Dan. else I'll go. All right. Thank you for volunteering. So the next question is, in your culture, what do you think is the most popular musical instrument and why? Mr. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I'm not too much into cultural music because I just listen to, most of the time, I don't listen to a lot of music, but when I do, it's when I'm taking long drives and I need to stay awake. And that's when I need the upbeat music just to, you know, besides coffee and cold air, I just need something to, you know, make sure that I get the energy to stay awake. So for that one, I, you know, each generation, when you talk about music, tends to think that, uh, their generation music is better than the current one. And on the radio, I don't really like it. What I see previously, the talent it required to make a song, you had to be really assiduous in terms of learning both the vocals and the musical instruments. 
whereas right now with the simulations and the uh, uh, whether it's even the piano and the other things it, on the computer you could generate a lot of those tones you could generate the beats so somebody without a lot of musical talent can actually make songs and a lot of those songs reflect that I think in terms of their uh, quality it's just like somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience can go out there and do that so I don't really have a particular instrument but if anything it'll probably be the drums because the drums kind of give you the background and the beat just to you know keep you up and if it was pick any other instrument besides that uh, probably a string instrument like a guitar or something so those would be my two uh, favorite instruments in terms of how you know they would uh, influence and, and especially for if you're trying to uh, you know be have an upbeat music where you're driving and stuff like that those are the two key instruments that i would need mr table topics master thank you i'll go next all right thank you rajesh rajesh is that how you pronounce it no i think i'm surprised to see it's not my name <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay so since i'm here, starting of meeting i was looking who is rajesh here then i got to see like it's my name there it's not rajesh uh, let me introduce myself this is sukumar boga and uh, i have been forwarded a meeting request from one of my friend ajay kumar who is in our participant list so i don't know how this rajesh has been appeared here so <laughs> my name is sukumar boga so let me spell my name it is s u k u m a r so you can call me sukumar and uh, a very i mean a high greetings to the toastmaster and a warm wishes to all the participants i see it's a very good platform for getting improved with our communications and thanks for welp- welcoming me so did, now, I your, did i spell your name right S-U-M-A-R. sukumar 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 oh yeah. sukumar okay exactly yeah. exactly miller you got it <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so the question for the question that i have for you yeah, is maybe easy one. Uh, <laughs> all right um so what musician would you like to meet in person uh okay so my question for today is what musician i would like to meet right okay so first of all to let me say about what is music in my perspective is uh, music is life itself like it doesn't need any language neither it has tradition or it has any culture yes there is a culture but anyone can get adopted and uh, music itself has a spirit of language and to me uh, since i belong to india i it is a, has a multiple culture and multiple variations in musics and traditions and i like to meet uh, if possible I, i i know it is not possible now since he is not available but uh, but he is always me uh, to be uh, a desire of music and i can say is like uh, uh, what do you call since because i am following from my childhood his name is uh, spb uh, he is called to be a balu and in english western music i think it's an all time favorite to everyone Oh, okay.
Hmm. My other computer is on down here. Yeah. Put it out. Well, I don't know what happened here, my computer.